Hey folks. Well, we're in Boston now, and we're doing, I guess, probably what would amount to ha 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 Gargana's Part 3B of uh, breeding out Mihatan, which I'm going to do the next breeding event. But for those of you who are watching this video, we have a number of others, all with the title War Dragons Mihatan. But we just came in from the Old Lime Inn in Connecticut, and before that we came in from New York. There was a storm that was coming up, and the hotel owner said that they're going to be closing it down. So it was probably for the better, because, you know, if we're going to be stranded anywhere, it's probably better to be in downtown Boston, which will make another Gosh. video that will show the surrounding area. Nice. Yes. Nice of you. Little extra perks that have absolutely everything in the world to do with war dragons. Yes. <laughs> but where else to breed Champa than in downtown Boston? I mean, Champa is a Boston kind of girl, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. where else would you see a, you know, like a mega dorger flying around with <laughs> chain lightning? And, you know, it's probably like a bad brainchild out of MIT. What do you think? Harvard wouldn't do that? No. Harvard is more like, I don't know, what do you think? Harvard, Harvard? Is like kaiju territory? Maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. kaiju is one of the dragons I had to get. He looks like an evil sugar glider. Mm -hmm. And Quetz, actually, you know, I um, I was on a deadline to get all of them upgraded to uh, breedable. Mm -hmm. And again, as I said in the other videos, to beat a dead horse somewhere and throw him into the water. As you can do that if you're like an upwards of 170 player when you have a base multiplier of at least 100,000. If you get them before, during the breeding event, you won't be able to upgrade them to get the sapphire let alone two sapphires within one competition. And then, you know, from the two sapphire legendaries to get the mythic, but I'm gonna be doing that next event. Anyway, enough chit chat. I've uh, been upgrading my other dragons. My firepower went up significantly. And now I'm going to be doing Champa, mm -hmm. but I'm going to need to be using fragments because, um, well, I still have 121,000 eggs. But in some cases, it's probably more advantageous to throw in fragments because my ultimate goal is Mihatan, and Mihatan costs 195,000 eggs. And if for 500, which is what a mythic legendary, uh, excuse me, sapphire legendary is 125,000, if I throw in 500 fragments, I'll save 125,000 eggs. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a much better deal for 500 fragments, 125,000 eggs, than for 1,195. So like I said, if you're going to start throwing fragments into any dragons, keep that in mind. In this case, I would have gotten Kaiju as a bonus breed, but I already have Kaiju from the previous, so I would have had an extra Platinum egg, but I've gotten it from a whole bunch of other dragons that you get in the process. Mm -hmm. Again, I had to get Cthulhuus, whom... You know, it's not a bad dragon, gold legendary. He looks a little bit like Sigurd, but he's a pink salamander color, I guess. Then you have to get Kulan, who's also a, a good, epic um, platinum dragon. Quetz is better, and Kaiju is an excellent dragon, but they were just intermediaries for me for other finer dragons, of which Garganus and now Champa comes into the picture. So, so. The plan here, again, for Mihatan is the intermediary dragons are Garganus and Champa. And for those of you who will go along the other plan that I was originally going to go myself, if you have Kelvin and Vulcan out of Platinum tier, and I can't imagine how you wouldn't have them because the mm -hmm. most standard plan was Will, Gnor, and Consurgence. Consurgence, yeah. Yes. You'll get Sekum for 125. He's an excellent, excellent hunter, supposedly better than Garganus. He has Sandstorm. Mm -hmm. But Garganus is even better than Champa. Excuse me, not Champa, Shade. Because on top of that, he also has Steel Essence. He has all of Shade's powers plus Steel Essence. So he's an even better hunter and he's Very a Sapphire cool. tier. Yeah, he's a Sapphire tier dragon. Very cool. Yep. Then you have Kelvin and Chrysos. You get Kulan and Kaiju. And mm -hmm. out of Kelvin and Kaiju, you get Anapa. Mm -hmm. And out of Sekum and Anapa, you get Mihatan. Excuse me. <laughs> um, a some piece of work. Apophet. Yes, I originally said Mihatan. Apophet, I corrected. Well, Ghost corrected mm -hmm. me, and then I read what I crossed out before Apophet. Apophet is a perfectly respectable dragon. He's a sorcerer, and he comes with one summon dragon flying before him. The only thing is you can't summon another one. So you get that combination of sorcerer and warrior attack, but I spoke to our club XO, and he seems to have expected grander things of him, but he's a mid-200s player, so maybe he has higher expectations. Still, I don't believe any of these dragons are bad, but again, I'm going for Mihatan, which will give me more opportunities later on in Garnet Sphere. 
if you want to breed into sapphire, it's far easier to go along the apophic path. Apophic, by the way, costs 200k. One last thing you should know that for these breedings, what was not available in the guides is that you have to use Kelvin plus Chrysos. And Chrysos, for those of you who don't have them, if you didn't get them, we tried various paths, and the ones that the game gave us by default was Nosfer plus Danzig, Nosfer plus Bander, or Cerbero plus Danzig. All gave Chrysos, but it was for a crappy deal of 100k. If, if, you want to back breed Chrysos, it's very important. Vulcan plus Danzig will give you Chrysos for 2,500 eggs. 2,500 eggs. That's not bad. Chrysos is an awesome dragon. Kaiju is even more impressive than he is. I mean, I always thought of Chrysos as being the hugging of the gold tier and Chrysos and um, Kaiju as being the Chrysos of the platinum tier. Be that as it may, regardless of how you want to think of them, these are all good dragons, but if you're going for even higher aspirations, well, this is what I used to attain it. If it works for you, great. If you have something better, keep it to yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> share well, and share start. alike. Yeah, yeah. Share, share and like. Let's see. So we're going to go into breeding. And you breed dragons. And we're going to have Champa now. Go to breeding. And if you press this, you're going to have to get it via fragments. Well, first I have to get actually one egg in there, don't I? Yes, you have to have at least one fragment in before you yes, can. Yes, so let's do that breed once. Well, that would have been so symbolic mm. if I actually would have gotten one. Auto breed, let's just auto breed once. Ah, that's it. Got it. Four. Yeah, out of 800, it gave me four. It didn't give me anything from the second run. It would have been very impressive. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I have four. So, so, so. Now I have to put in the other fragments. Yes. Okay. Now, I still have, uh, have 120,000. So now comes the hard part. What's the hard part? The hard part is, haha. -ha. Uh. Having to press for 496 times, yes, Gosh. incubate egg. So I don't know if you really want to see a video on that, but if you ever did. We're not going to do the whole thing. We're not going to do the whole thing. Shit, I, I'm sure people on YouTube land wanted to see me press a button 496 times. I'm today. sure they did. Garganus. Not Garganus, I'm sorry, Champa, but we're going to do this or what? We're Go. Gonna, okay, all right, well, this is what I... <laughs> I can't even think of really any fine line running commentary. How about guys, I'll tell you what, take a look. It's at four out of 500. I have 700 and can you see how many fragments here? Yes, yeah, 700 and... Do a couple. Okay, here. Yes, five out of 500. Yes, okay. So I'm going to be throwing them in there. It will take uh -huh. a little bit of time and when I'm finished. And d during the process, he's going to be drinking, what is that you're drinking? It's Ben React 10 year old. It's one of my favorite whiskeys. Uh, another one that I like is Le Coulin 16 year old. Smoky, Elay peated whiskey. It goes well with tobacco. It goes well with vapes. It goes well with... Dragons. Yeah, well that too and anything else you can imagine are better left unfilled. Okay, so drink. Mm -hmm. right. What should I press? Tell me. Hey guys. Press the red button, she said. So. So my friend was being slightly lazy and he made me do this, which I you know, like the experience and the, the, the like whole tapping thing, so I'm all good with that. And he was drinking his, what was it again? Ben Ryuk. Ben Ryuk. Ten year old. A uh, ten year old. And I'm drinking my soda water. Um, <laughs> differences. But we're almost there. We have 425 mm -hmm. of 500 and so I'm moving along pretty quickly. You do that very well. I, you know, I like it. I like was this like an innate ability? Like there was a man in England, he balanced like 150 kilos of like milk containers, but they were metallic ones. And this guy's neck was so fat, it was bigger than his head and he had a big head. So yeah, bigger than mine even. Yeah, so so he, uh, they asked him like, how did you do that? Did you train it? And he's just like, no, I always could. So yeah, he had a gift and that was his gift is balancing milk cisterns. Oh yes, there were cisterns on his head. See, I think it's just an innate talent. I'm already up to 477. You are, that's incredible. Guys, since we started this video, she already pressed the button, what, an additional 31 times. Yeah. 
Now more, even as we speak. Fresh for almost there. Ah. <coughs> Go to incubator? Yes. Go to the incubator. Come on. Didn't like my touch. There. Wait, it might make you... Oh, yes, it's giving you the sapphire egg. Oh, yes. Because we have Krizan in there, whom I really didn't even want to get or need at this point. Maybe later, but no. Mm -hmm. I want to breed... We want to do... We want to speed him up or you want to wait? Yeah, yeah. I know you always want to wait, but I insist on speeding up. Okay. Boom. Apply multiples. We don't have any music. We didn't turn Oh, yeah, we sound. should turn on the sound. Turn on the sounds. That's too late now. All right. Ah, we just got there for the big boom. He does look like Huli. Yeah, he does. Well, you know, he is to Durga what Durga is to Huli. Actually, you can think of Champa as a mega Durga, seriously. And it's very nice. It's very cute, Dragon. <clears throat> yes? And the other thing you were going to do today was see how hatching these sapphire dragons um, opened up your divines, right? Yes. You actually upgraded your... Snowdrop. And your snowdrop. So you evolved them to platinum and they are still not capped, correct? No, they're still not capped. They got capped after I had bred a sapphire legendary, but then they got capped again at a level 29 then, but now I upgraded to 229, so let's see how far I can get them. Goes, take the phone. There we go. Let's see how high. Mm -hmm. How far I can get them. <clears throat> All right. You can't make wise decisions on a sober head, so drink up. Drink up. I have meat packs, and also I'm gonna feed my dragon with Twinkies. You know, Twinkies were actually made to survive a nuclear war. I'm serious, they have a shelf life of 12 years. No one's ever tested it to the max. Maybe they did, I, I never heard about it. But on eBay, on eBay they were selling, they were selling Chernobyl Twinkies. I'm serious, they actually have tours to Chernobyl, the city that underwent, you know, the radio mm -hmm. active meltdown of a reactor years ago. And their tours over there. There was a video game based on it, I'm trying to remember. It had something to do with a radioactive zone. That's so Interesting. Many of them. Yeah, yeah. But, All right, back to dragons. Oh, yes, back to dragons. Anyway, so I'm going to use a meat pack. Mm -hmm. Thank you for focusing me. Yes. Well, let's see how high we can get Snowdrop, okay? Ah, he's out of experience points, son of a bitch. Yes, so, well, he's so far at level 33. Put your own. Yeah, we can do Tyrande. Actually, my Tyrande is a funny character in the sense that, look at this, people. He has 30,000, 30,220,000 out of 2.61 million required. Yeah, he basically has about, you know, 12 times more experience points than necessary. And this is after he's been capped, yeah, for so long at level 20. Well, actually, I upgraded him to 29. He was a 28. Before, he had like 32 out of 2.2 required. So he had 15 times more, but let mm -hmm. me train him. Let's see how that goes. Train. Uh huh. Actually, I should have upgraded Al Gore. Maybe I should do Al Gore? No, do him. Okay, fine, I'll do him. Do you use him more than Al Gore? Okay. Because he has the explosive shield. Well, so does Al Gore, it's just his political speech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. How many levels is that now? Let's see. Yeah. So now we have to upgrade the level den to 30. And his attack power at this point, da -da 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 -da, if you don't believe me, 18,369,000. So basically almost 18.5 million. And Al Gore hits harder than him, so it'll be about 20 million. So at this point, if you breed a sapphire and you put the correct uh, runes and uh, runes and glyphs on them, and I did on mine. If you want to take a look, they were quite good. There's one common one over there, which I will replace with something else. But it gives them an awesome firepower. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you have three dragons that are hitting between 18 to 20 million in your roster, you're talking about an attack firepower of, you know, the mid-50s to the lower 60 millions. Even basically 
Well, before I was taking down players 220, 240, if I was very careful with my snowdrop. Now I can really harass the shit out of people who are even 300. Ah, lovely. <laughs> lovely. Maybe uh, we should do a, a video on runes and glyphs next. We can. By the way, listen, Solar yep. sent me the wood, so maybe we can upgrade the den one more time. Oh. Is it a matter of the den? Let me see. Let me see what the block on Snowdrop was. Not Snowdrop, Toronto was. was. Yeah, let me see what it was. Upgrade your den. Yep, we need to upgrade my den. So, one more time, I'm going to upgrade my den. This is so good. Ha 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 So, now we can upgrade Snowdrop. Excuse me. Well, actually, we can upgrade Great Snowdrop. Snowdrop. But I'm going to upgrade Toronto now. Mm hmm. You train him? Gosh. Oh, no. Upgrade your training down to level 30, it says. So is not mine 30? No, you're, it wants you to do your training. What's it at now? Well, he's capped at 33 right now. Oh, I have to press the check mark. I'm uh. sorry. My bad. My bad. I was just curious how far you can push the dragons once you have mm -hmm. the sapphires. So we're getting some interesting answers here. How many more times? Did it cap him again? Oh, uh, yeah. So he's capped at level 34. Okay. And guess what his attack firepower is now? And I have to upgrade my den to level 31. I'm not going to do that now, should I? Can you? I could try it, fuck it. I mean, <laughs> excuse the language. I'd be losing points on the upgrading competition. I guess I could. Uh, Or do you have to be at a higher level? Well, you know what? I could get some wood, but screw it. I'll try it. Let's see how far I can push it. Yeah. What level are you at now? Training then? No, no, no. Level, level. My level is yeah. 178. 178. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your training den is now at 31. My training den is, hold on, 31. That's mm -hmm. right. Let's see. Sounds like he swallowed a Buick, doesn't it? It does. Ah, okay. He finally got capped. Okay. He finally got capped and he says, you need to breed a Garnet. But he got to level 35. So, so you're legendary. After the sa so basically after the Sapphire, there are no more caps except for the breeding den. Yeah, you will have a number of breeding den caps that you will have. But you don't have to get two sapphire dragons. You no, don't have no, to do that's any. No, no, the I had. They included that until gold. I never knew if that was the case for platinum because you breed Kelvin and Vulcan at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you breed two legendaries unless you go for some bizarre breeding that will only give you one. I don't recommend it. I had originally, like a dumbass, gotten Chryso separately like that when I entered the gold sphere, which was a mistake. And that required two. From what I understand, gold was the last one, but even if platinum is the last one, you automatically breed two platinum dragons. For sapphire tier, you're only required to breed one, and once you breed a sapphire, your divines will go up to level 35, and Tehran's attack power at 35, take a look, is 22.4 million. Yes, 22.4 million, and uh, Al Gore hits even harder than that. So once I upgrade all my dragons to their max, I'm talking about for my divines, I'll be hitting it between 65 to 70 million. Actually nice. more than 65, I'll be hitting about 70 plus, 71, 72, we'll see. Well anyway, you know, I don't know, uh, Al Gore was about 15% stronger with the yeah. runes I put on him, so yeah, so he'll be hitting it about 24, 23. Yeah. So yeah, 22.8, 22, 40, so yeah, yeah, about 70, 70 million. So yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be able to do some. <laughs> Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. All right. So, guys, we're in Boston right now. We're yep. going to give you a tour. That was part 3B of yes. reading Mihatan. And we'll see how the rest goes. Take and care. Then. And we'll give, you, we'll give you an update on the storm here yes. in Boston. Okay, take care. Take care.